So let's discuss the gross anatomy of the kidney. When I say gross, I don't mean disgusting. I mean just the macroscopic anatomy of the kidney as opposed to the very microscopic anatomy that we're gonna do in the next section. So the information that I have in this lesson, you are expected to know for the MCAT. So make sure to review this before your exam as well so that you can keep all these different parts in mind. The outer region of the kidney is called the renal cortex. We see the cortex right here. So here's the kidney. Let's first, again, let's take a, a step back and kind of just look at it together for the first time. So this is one kidney. We have two kidneys, one on each side. So just making sure that you don't forget about that. So here's the kidney. This whole structure here is our kidney and it has two main layers. And we're going to reference those a lot as we go through this chapter. So make sure that you understand what those mean. So it has a cortex, which is the outer part. The cortex is always the outer part. We've referenced a cortex of something in other lessons. For example, the adrenal glands have a cortex and a medulla. It always means the same thing. The cortex is the outer part and the medulla is this inner part right here. So this inner region is called the medulla of the kidney. So we're going to reference those as I mentioned and knowing that is also important for the MCAT. Okay, so urine is produced in the meat of the kidney. So through here we have these structures that we're going to dive deeper uh, next, dive into a lot deeper next, uh, but just generally the urine is going to be produced by the kidney and it's going to drain into the renal pelvis. The renal pelvis is located right here. So it is just this open region here where all the urine, let me erase some of these things, all the urine that's being produced is going to drain into the renal pelvis. From the renal pelvis, the urine is going to collect and go down the ureters. The ureters are, again, we have one on each side because they're connected one to each kidney, and we say that here as well, and that's just going to be the main tube that collects the urine that's being produced by the kidney. Now notice how there are big arteries and veins going in and out of the kidney. So there is this big renal artery and a big renal vein. And so the reason for that is because kidney filters blood. There's a large amount of the blood that goes directly to the kidneys because the kidneys have this important role in filtering the blood and getting rid of waste products that we don't no longer need and keeping the things that we actually do need. It helps, it has so many important functions and so the blood has to really go through the kidneys. Uh, a large volume of it has to go through the kidneys directly so that it can um, be filtered. It, again, as I mentioned, the kidney will remove waste products and reabsorb anything that we can still use, like glucose, water, and electrolytes, etc. Now, the two main ways of getting rid of waste products are through our urine, as the kidneys help with that, and also through feces. So anything that we eat that we don't need, uh, we can uh, directly get rid of, but also things that are actually processed by the liver, the liver is able to put those things into bile and we can get rid of those things through the feces as well. So just keep in mind that those are the two main ways that we have of excreting things that we actually don't need. Now from the ureter, the urine is going to collect in the bladder. So here we have both kidneys, urine is made. It goes from the ureters to the bladder and here it collects in the bladder. When the bladder is full, we have this funny feeling lower down in our abdomen that we have to go to the bathroom and then the urine can come out through the urethra to the outside so we can get rid of that. So make sure to understand this gross anatomy of the kidney. This is something that could easily show up on the MCAT and you're definitely expected to know those different parts. So that's it for this lesson.